Hey guys, this is Mr. Herbst here, and today's focus is going to be on evolution. More specifically, we're going to discuss if evolution is a fact or a theory. Now, saying the word evolution can sometimes get a few people riled up, but really, actually, evolution is one of the most misunderstood concepts in all of biology. In fact, evolution is a lot like gravity. Confused? Let's explore that a little bit. Behind me here is a picture of the Earth. If you live on planet Earth, Chances are really good that you know what gravity is. In fact, you probably discovered it in the following ways. Taking care of business every day. Taking care of business every way. Gravity is very predictable. For example, what do you think will happen if I drop this ping pong ball from a height of, say, uh, one and a half feet? Did you guess correctly? We even know what's going to happen if we drop larger objects, such as this little basketball. Now you watch that happen with your eyes, right? Thus making it a fact. Nobody can dispute that for you. But can you actually tell me what is being communicated or what information is being transferred between the Earth and this little ping pong ball right here that causes it to fall down? What actually makes objects fall? Albert Einstein came up with the theory of relativity. Some scientists came up with these theories, this theory of gravitons, where we have little particles that cause things to attract. But what I'm getting at here is that us... Even our top scientists don't fully know what is causing gravity. Now, unlike gravity, where we find out what it does in an instant, evolution is a very slow process. It has taken billions of years for evolution to show us what it can do, which is why it's often misunderstood. It's very difficult to comprehend, actually, how long a billion years, given that most human beings live around 80 years. There have only been a handful of examples of evolution happening right before our eyes. And here is a few. Allow me to introduce to you the tuberculosis bacteria. For a long time in human history, this bacteria right here was one of the most deadly organisms on all of planet Earth. It caused this. Here is a dissected lung from a human being. You see all that nasty black stuff in there? That was not caused by smoking. That was caused by a bacteria that actually killed the tissue or the cells inside of your lung. Imagine how deadly that could be. In 1928, we invented this, the pill. And by the 1940s and 50s, everybody was taking them to try to cure their diseases. In fact, the bacteria got so good at resisting these pills right here, that if you were to give that same pill to somebody today that had tuberculosis, it wouldn't work. The bacteria actually evolved to resist the medication that you would try to throw at it. Here is man's best friend, a canine, a dog. Did you know a dog is one of the best examples of evolution? Where did dogs come from? Well, they probably came from wolves or foxes. But how did that all work? How did we make them behave more like dogs instead of wolves? In the 1950s, there was an experiment done in Russia where they actually took wild foxes and tried to put them or create them into dogs. You know what they did? They took the tamest of the tame foxes and only allowed those to breed together. And then the tamest of their babies, they only allowed those ones to breed together. Now at first what they found was that these foxes hated to be around human beings. They would do anything to get away from us, which is to be expected, right? Have you been ever able to pet a wild fox before? And what we found is after about 50 years of this experiment going on, breeding only the tamest of the tame, these foxes love to be around human beings. Take a look at this guy right here. He's wagging his tail. He's super happy to be near us. And if you actually take a look, he's starting to look like a dog too. So what we found out is that over several generations of selective breeding, we actually were able to evolve or create a dog. If you want to find out more about this experiment, Please, please follow the link right here. So to sum up here, folks, evolution is a lot like gravity, where we can see it happening. Only they're very difficult to explain. Scientists have only begun to scratch the surface on how these two subjects work. Evolution is a very, very slow process that occurs over many generations of organisms. For this reason, it can be very difficult to observe and very difficult to comprehend. Nonetheless, though, evolution, like gravity, is something that's there and should not be discounted or ignored. So ultimately, 
I'm going to have to side with the big F on this one. Fat. Evolution means that there is a change in the genetic characteristics of organisms over time. Now, given the examples such as the silver foxes in Russia or the tuberculosis bacteria, those are things that we can see with human eyes within one human lifetime. Therefore, if we can see it happening, wouldn't that thus make it fact? Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. If you'd like to check out more information on evolution, please see within the description below. And there are also going to be more videos on evolution to follow. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>